So I've been getting a lot of questions about the REL rework, when it's coming out, and yeah, mostly just asking when it's coming out. We don't have any news from Riot, but honestly with the speed that they're pushing out these mid-scope updates, you'd have to assume that it's pretty soon. But the point of this video, while we're waiting, we have a nice fan-made rework from Blue, who is a rail main, yes they exist, and I'm all for showcasing cool community shit, so today I'm gonna go through this rework and show you guys what it's all about. It's also pretty known that Riot have borrowed fan concepts in the past, more typically for skins, but it's not a stretch to think that some concepts from this kit might make it into the final version, especially Especially since a lot of it is quality of life improvements. First off, we have a passive Break the Mold. Rail's auto attacks now deal double damage to wards. They also apply Break the Mold in an AoE around the initial target. Rail's auto attacks are really slow so it kind of makes it hard for her to keep up in the vision game. This is just a bit of a quality of life change and the AoE also helps her passive to be a little bit more useful in team fights. Next up we have her Q. Her Q no longer applies her passive. It also no longer requires a tethered ally with attract and repel to heal Rail. The heal from her Q now heals for a moderate amount of a single enemy hit, but it heals significantly less per target hit beyond the first target. If the heal that Rel receives from her Q is greater than the heal that her ally would receive, grant the ally the same healing value as Rel. The damage from Shattering Strike is lowered, however it's no longer reduced by 50% past the initial target. Next up we have her W. While dismounted, Rel's movement speed is still reduced, but there's no longer a movement speed cap and you gain bonus movement speed while moving towards enemies. Auto attacking while dismounted will reduce the cooldown of mount up by a very small amount. The dash part of her dismount remains the same speed, but the slide is greatly faster. When she uses her dismount, it now has the same if you can reverse over half this wall you go over it protection that all the other dashes and blinks have, and in my opinion, that's a really nice quality of life change. Next up, we have her E, Attract and Repel. While her E is on cooldown, the ability is replaced with Tether. This allows you to change Rel's tethered ally while Attract and Repel is on cooldown. Attract and Repel now only has a one second cooldown when tethering purely to prevent accidental use. Rel can use Attract and Repel on ally turrets. And then of course bug fixes. And then for her ult, there was no changes in this. They said, this is the perfect ability on Rel, there's nothing I would change about it. It synergizes perfectly with the rest of her kit, it isn't too strong, nor is it too weak. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and if you have any changes that you would add, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like it, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.